Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today, as promised, I'm reviewing the second cigar from the Black Works Studio. This is the Killer Bee, and this is a four and a half by 46 Petite Corona. A couple of things I'll point out to you. Look at that cool little bee-like configuration at the cap. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. There's the density. Now this is a very small cigar, four and a half by 46. So uh, we can't expect it to take very long, but you never know, it has a nice feel in the hand. Now this is from uh, James Brown, creator of Black Label Trading Company and is now launching a Black Work Studio uh, so to showcase the uh, boutique cigar factory in Esteli, uh, Nicaragua. So all the story is on uh, yesterday's post on the blog. Actually, you can get everything. Uh, but uh, this is a suggested retail price of $7.50. They call this a signature linear cap. Uh, not real sure. I, it, it just looks like uh, part of a bumblebee, doesn't it? So uh, let's go with that. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get right. Oh, well, this cigar is uh, Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. So now we can get right to it. The new Killer Bee from Blackworks Studio. I really hate to uh, mess up that all that work in the cap there, but wow, that's an effortless draw. Wow. As they say, you need to break some eggs to make a cake. So there we go. Killer B. This has a little bit of a closed foot like the other one did too, didn't it? Doesn't it? Yep. One thing I've noticed with about these um, Black Work Studio cigars, and this is the second I've had, okay. But the first one yesterday, right out of the gate, you get great flavors and uh, you can pin down the flavors you're starting with. In today's case, I'm getting black licorice, black coffee, a cream-like component, dry wood, Black pepper at a nine. Yes, nine. It is massive. Let's start with that. Licorice, cream, black coffee. And black pepper. And dry wood. I don't think there's any, I'm not going to call any chocolate, it's more of a licorice flavor. So those are your starting flavors. Again, black pepper fans, raise your hand. Boy, this one's loaded. Even more than the NBK had yesterday. Yeah, NBK. Had to remember that name, but it was loaded with black pepper. This one's even more so. So that's a good start. about an inch in, maybe three-fourths of an inch, and things can quickly change. The licorice notes are gone. The chocolate notes are in. Tons of espresso or black coffee. It is so deep. I'm going to call it espresso again, just like yesterday. This is definitely espresso. Dry wood. Dry, almost a dry cedar. Chocolate. Massive amounts of black pepper. The finish. Hmm. Sort of a cream, almost like yesterday, with sort of a dry wood and massive amounts of lingering black pepper. I would call it medium to full bodied right now, and it may reach full bodies that close. So that's how it settles down. Two inches in. 
massive amounts of espresso, sweet chocolate, dry cedar, and massive amounts of black pepper. Full bodied now. It didn't take long. It uh, amped up from the very beginning. So finishes unchanged. Massive amounts of black pepper on the finish. This is really a very peppery cigar, more so than the NBK yesterday, which had a ton of black pepper. This has two tons. <laughs> so let's wrap it up get about 43 minutes out of this cigar short but it's still good it's packed with power full body massive amounts of espresso nice sweet chocolate dry cedar massive amounts of black pepper on the front and back end finishes pretty much unchanged flavor wise uh, been a good cigar this is a powerhouse black pepper cigar has nice flavors doesn't have any richness to it but uh, the nice chocolate flavors are are nice um espresso a lot of dark notes in this cigar good solid powerful cigar i'm rating it at 92. this black work studio has come out of the gate with two really good cigars i mean really good not sure where you'll find them, but look for them, ask for them, but you need to try them. Two very good cigars there, the NBK and this Killer B. Really good, powerful cigars for the most part. A lot of black pepper in both of them. So, nothing else to say. Very good cigars, well worth trying. So there you have it. Blackwork Studio Killer B, 92.